Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Yo-Kai Watch and in the previous episode we came here to the old mansion and obtained the final piece that we need to upgrade our Yo-Kai Watch but before we do anything let's actually equip that new Yo-Kai that we received in the previous episode Baku and let's see I'm very curious how high of whoa level 10 okay this thing is not the highest in the strength stat but its spirit is out of control so let's um Go ahead and set that on our Yokai watch, and let's see. I really like you, Cough Cough, but you are rank E, and you're not really super helpful. So I think I'm gonna replace uh, Dimmy first, and then put Dimmy where Cough Cough is, wherever the heck Dimmy is. All right. Let's set him in the back row. So, I know my team isn't really amazing right now, but the fact that we have three Charm Yokai all in the front row is going to be extremely helpful because they are going to get a giant speed increase. So, so far, I'm, I'm taking my team. They're pretty darn cool. I would like to get some other yokai, but here's the thing. It's kind of a pain to do since, you know, it's all completely random. Well, it's random to an extent, but yeah, now that we got that out of the way, let's return all of these pieces to, well, old timer. I'm, that, that's not really his name, but I'm gonna call him that back at the watch shop You guys probably know where it is and if you're using this for a walkthrough It's just south of town, so I'll meet you when I get there and all right here. We are timers and more Now that we have all the pieces to our yokai watch. Hopefully this dude can upgrade it and not too shabby there young one Looks like you got everything you need. Well, I would have to get cooking on this, but I'm not feeling so we did all of that, and you're not feeling it! Ever since I lost my lucky undies, my work just hasn't been the <sighs> God dang it. Just can't get motivated without my lucky undies. <laughs> I'm sorry you're asking me to get your underwear for you? Do you think that's a little weird? Yeah, no kidding, even for a yokai that's weird. And not at all. I call the Springdale Hot Springs, but nobody's turning them in. Which I guess isn't too surprising. Yeah, it'd be weird for underwear to be in a lost and found. They told me to come back after they close for the day. I have a thing about going out at night. Don't ask. Would you mind checking out the hot spring for me after they close? Come on, dude. Can't you just do a half-baked job or something? Get your underwear? I can't do that. First of all, mom would kill me if she found out I was out of my room at night. Oh yeah, that is true. We are like 10 after all. Unfortunate for my undies. If only we had a Baku around, we'd be golden. You call Baku. Oh god. Uh, that's pretty convenient though, since we just got him and that big nose guy is, well, I guess there's two big nose yokai now and that makes things easy. Baku, I can take whatever you worry about. Wait, what? What do you mean by that? Baku can suck all the sleepiness out of you. It'll be full of it. Like, really? So we just stay up all day with no repercussions? On top of that, Baku can change form and take your place in bed at night. Wow, that is extremely handy for this particular situation. Beat up cake! Good cake. Tasty, tasty cake. Oh, you really like to eat, Baku. Come on, let's get home and try this out right away. Sounds good, okay. Well, I guess I can find your undergarments if... Uh, someone's gonna cover for me. I'm not too sure on this, though. You don't look anything like me. Mm. Well, you did get rid of my tiredness, so I guess that's good. And dang, I feel like a million bucks! I'm not sleepy one bit! Nice. Boy, would I kill for this ability and good meal! Baku full and sleepy. Oh. Uh, apparently eating my dreams means I can turn into a double gang version of me, I guess, and this is fantastic, Nate. Now we're free to go exploring at night. Let's sneak our way out here before your parents find out. Yeah, it'd be a little creepy if they saw two of me. And thanks to Baku, we can now travel outside at night. Awesome. Now all we gotta do is head back and... Fast asleep. <laughs> They're none the wiser, and yeah, I'm gonna move the, uh... Oh, we can't do that right now, actually. No, we can. Right after this, and whew! We made it out without anyone noticing. Good work. Let's head over to the hot spring. But yeah, I'm gonna show. It's night time on the watch, and they whisper, hold on a sec. Do you feel something weird? Um... Oh. Well, that's not good. Oh my gosh. Oh, God. 
Oh. Well, that can't be good. Yeah, what the heck was that? It's called an Oni. Don't you watch any anime? No time to explain, only to rhyme to run! Yeah, that guy wants to fight, and do not ask me why I'm running directly towards him. We need to run ASAP and get out of here, and oh god, there's other Onis. But we're more scared of that one. Okay. Now, when this happens, Terra time, there are treasure chests you can get and stuff, but honestly, we do not have time for- Oh my god, where am I going? We do not have time for that. If this guy catches up to us, we pretty much lose, unless we have a way to get away. Oh god, he is really, really fast. Luckily, though, there is a waypoint right over here, and the second we touch it, we can escape. <sighs> it's no good. That thing is gonna catch us! We're not done yet, Nate. Just keep running. You can do it! Oh crap, you're out of a cinema! No! We lost! <laughs> okay, you're right. <laughs> oh. Hello there. Uh, hi. Dots. Cool. Uh, have we met before? I was in part four, you idiot. Cut the small talk. I've been watching you, Nate. Oh. Uh, thanks for the door, man. And if you want to escape, this door will return you to safety. Uh, hey, that's convenient. And hey, you're the guy who helped us with the slime ander, too, right? I never got to thank you. Yes, well, don't assume that means we're allies. I'm not in the government, so don't expect another bailout next time. That is some witty dialogue. Farewell, Nate. Uh, peace out. Admittedly cool-looking dude, and what a weirdo. I thought it was cool! <laughs> Through that door, Nate! Hurry! Oh yeah, we should probably make that our highest priority. And that is the most- that is the single most Japanese door I've ever seen in my life. Just that design and everything. I don't know why, just- just reeks of Japan, and we made it. <laughs> that's, a, that's not necessarily a bad thing, though, and that was a close one, I think. Uh, that was pretty close, dude, and that yokai who helped us is really quite the mysterious one, huh? The Oni who was chasing us, though. Could it have been... Uh, been who? Ben Franklin? <laughs> Nate, shut up. If you're done with that nonsense, that sudden appearance could only have meant one thing. Terror time. Terror time? What the heck is that? Terror time is a special kind of nightmare that kids have. Oni are physical representations of a dreamless fears and worries. They say you'll wake with a stronger heart if you escape from an Oni. Well, we just did that, so I guess we have a stronger heart now. In theory. What happens if you don't escape, though? You'll wake up in your bed. Oh, well, that's not too bad. But you will have missed out on the chance to grow stronger. Oh, I see. While you're out and about, you may get caught in terror time. If this happens, hide from the Oni and find the exit as fast as you can during terror time. There are also treasure chests that you can acquire, but don't stay too long because the little Onis will increase, making it harder to escape. Yeah. And if you fight that Oni, good luck, basically. I recommend safety first. Just focus on finding the exit for a while. Yeah, that's probably some solid advice. It is strange, though, that we were in terror time when we were awake. Hmm... Maybe Baku had something to do. Yeah. I guess that would make sense, and... Well, we can figure that out later. Time to go to the hot spring. We need your yokai watch upgraded as soon as possible. Let's track down the old man's lucky pair of underwear. Ugh, that... Don't say it too loud. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Uh, yeah, me and Nate are less than thrilled about this, uh... Quest. But hey, what do you gotta do? You gotta pay the bills somehow. So, yeah. Onis are kinda scary. Especially giant red ones with a club the size of a truck. I think I'll avoid him for a while. Maybe we'll take him on when we get stronger, Yokai. Or maybe never at all. What the heck was that? What? What's this? It's a cat. I swear, I, I thought it was a bagel, and I was like, what the heck's a bagel? Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> but yes, the hot spring is right over here. He, he, the, the watch guy could have literally walked over here, but he just doesn't want to leave his house at night. I wonder if the yokai, or the oni yokai, has something to do with that. And, well, you're awfully late. If you want to take a dip, you'll have to come back to my Lady, I'm way too young to be in here, and actually, I'm here to pick up something for a friend. I swear it's not mine, okay? Sorry, but there isn't anything in our lost and found. I just checked it, and there was only two toothpicks and a yo-yo, and I don't think either of those would have belonged to him, okay? I'll still be here for a few minutes, if you'd like to look around, though. Well, that's nice. Thanks. Let's go searching. Uh, okay, did you find something, Whisper, in the short amount of time that we're here? And wait, I'm sensing something. Is it on your way? <laughs> no! Maybe, I don't know. I feel a powerful aura coming from the bath over there. 
So either there's a yokai or some really smelly shorts. Regardless, we should investigate. I can't believe I'm saying this. Can't we just find the other wear and go? Ugh. Nothing's ever easy in this game, is it? And all right, now we have to investigate the hot spring. But before we go, I like this place, man. It's very homey. There's penguins on the I the the freezer. That is that is cool in my book. Hmm. Can we actually buy stuff from here? I'm a little curious. Cold drink would hit the spot. We could buy some of these, but actually, let's buy one of these. Why the heck not? I'm a little curious what it does. Who knows, it might be good. And yeah, just a heads up, um, you're probably gonna want a pretty full inventory as far as food goes for this next fight. Don't say I didn't warn you, okay? Okay, let's head inside the mill side of this, uh, hot spring and... It even has a fan. Man, they did not just skimp on any of the details for this place and... Did... Did, did someone go in the... in the bath? Let's use our yokai watch and find out. And guess what's gonna happen when we fill this up? What is it? I did not see his face before like that. <laughs> Just makes him look like he's dead and sproink. Hey man, how's it going? You having fun in the hot spring, buddy? Uh yeah. Sproink loves hot soak after a hard day. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Whoa. Was it just that one yokai giving off that big of an aura? That bath looks very relaxing. Except for the fact there's a giant pig in it, do you? So can we just leave him be then? Right? Please say yes. <laughs> I keep it down over there. You don't make Sproon get out of the tub and settle you down himself. Uh, that won't be necessary, sir. And oh my, look at the underwear that he's wearing. They totally don't ma I mean... Uh, do I have to? <laughs> I bet those are Mr. Goodsight's lucky undies. God dang it. Why did it have to be on this giant yokai? Unless someone else scrawled Mr. Goodsight's name on the waist. How can you see that from your whisper? <laughs> I'm hoping that's unlikely. Uh, hey there, Mr. Sproink. Can you give us that underwear, please? You interrupted Sproink, Stoke. I demand his new undies. <laughs> Oh god, he is ticked, dude. Look at Sproink. It's gonna have to make an example out of you. Yeah, the second boss of the game happens pretty quickly versus Sproink! Who really, really needs to put more clothing on. Okay, so this fight is a bit tough. My recommendation, if you still have Dismerelda, use her as a tank. She has a lot more defense and a lot more HP than a lot of my current yokai, so if your team is a little bit similar to mine, just consider doing that from time to time. But we're gonna start out with our main line of charm yokai, and then the second you start this battle, go for the head. You're seeing that he's covering up his uh, stomach, basically. And come on, don't do Jabanya, don't do Jabanya. God dang it. Well, we need to purify him ASAP because Jabanyan is our like best DPS right now. And oh god, Caden. Actually took a ton of damage. See, now the battle is going to change. Now his stomach has been revealed, and now we're going to use Jabanyan's Paws of Fury. I'm gonna try and get this as quickly as possible. Hopefully that'll work, and oh god, we actually took a ton of damage from that. And once he does that, you need to heal up. This fight is like, okay, you absolutely need to heal, so I'm gonna quickly use a, uh, let's use a Custard Bread on Kaden and heal him up. We do not want anyone to die here. I'm actually going to move around a little bit. Hopefully we'll get to use our items soon. And tell, 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 this is no time to sink in, be loafing around. Come on, all right. Thankfully Baku, oh my, everyone's so lazy. This is our time to attack and no one's attack. I'm livid, all right. We're gonna try and trace with Baku. Maybe we'll have enough time to get this Sultiman off when his uh, belly button is, rev oh, this could be bad. The squealing boil is a very devastating attack, and it does a lot of fire damage. So if Kaden is out, you don't want him to be out. Whoa, Telltale took a lot of damage. Hopefully, though. Okay, everyone's alive. Oh, God, I, I didn't, what was I doing? I'm, what am I doing? What am I actually doing? I did not finish the Sultimate. That is the biggest fail ever. Please, no one die, please. No! Telltale died, God. That is really bad. Hopefully, Sleepy Smoke will do something. It's a pretty unlikely chance. Oh, yeah, it totally missed. All right, we're gonna rotate again, and hopefully Desmerelda will 
just tank a little bit of damage. I'm gonna use one of my nasty medicines. This is why I stress getting these for pretty much everything leading up to this. They're incredibly helpful, and I'm actually going to put Dimmy out really quickly. I want to get that belly button revealed again, and oh god. Everyone's taking a ton of damage. This is not good. Okay, I'm going to... Okay, that's open. We're going to grab that, and then now target his belly button. We're going to use Dimmy's Sultimate. Luckily, I got the spin. Dismorel does not really... No, no, don't hit Caden. No! This boss is being such a pain right now, dude. This is a pain in the butt. We need to heal Caden ASAP, and also we need to get... I'm going to prioritize healing Telltale really quickly. Or Tattletale. Because I feel like that's a smarter idea. Um, I'm going to do this formation. And hopefully... No, Jabanyan... Ugh! It's so hard to make up my mind here, dude. Okay, sweet. The belly button is available. Let's go ahead and use Tattletale's Sultimate. It'll do okay damage. She's really not here to do a ton of DPS. She's just here to kind of be the cheerleader of the group. But okay, so far we're doing alright. I swear, I'm getting Caden back in this fight because he is extremely helpful with his Sultimate. So let's go ahead and use one of our nasty medicines. Unfortunately, the Squealing Boil is coming out. I think we can tank it, though. We can just barely survive this. If he does a little Shockwave attack right after this, though, that could be a problem. Tattletail should just barely survive. Hopefully... Ooh! That did a ton. We're actually going to swap out really quickly. Swap to this team. And No, no, no. Not Caden. Not Caden. All right. Hopefully, Tattletail will heal us. No! And that's how you lose your Yokai. Oh, gosh. We need to change the target again. I keep forgetting that. Come on, Jabanyan. We really need you, dude. Okay, his, his ult ultimate is ready. I'm just going for it. We need to, like, hit him enough times in the head. Oh, wait. He's blocking both now. Oh, God. Nope. Jabanyan's got... God dang it. This is not good. This is literally the worst type of battle I could have. All right. The belly button's available again. Let's hit it. Caden is alive. Let's try and get his Sultiman off. The Cicada Cut is going to do a ton of damage. So this fight, in a nutshell, is... Please don't... No! Just barely hung on there! Thank you, Caden. What a boss. He is... Oh, going to do a ton of damage. All right, this is this is looking good. We really need to revive some of our yokai, though. And okay, the belly button is active again. Let's hope, let's hope, that we can deal some damage. Desmeralda is going to try and spirit it. That is not a good strategy. Oh, man, we're really we're missing in everything. I'm going to put Desmeralda in the back row. We really need to purify stinking all of our yokai. I don't know why I'm not doing that. That's kind of bad. Caden is back. Hopefully, Dimmy can do some good damage. We need to get that belly button, like, destroyed ASAP. Okay, I can't use my item again. Should we heal or revive? That's the question here. I'm definitely going to try and heal up Caden. Despite the fact that he did get that equipment to increase his defense, he still is kind of a glass cannon. So let's put him in the front now. Now he's full healed. Really, only Demi has a Sultimate. I'm going to go for that. Hopefully, I can get it off before he charges his Sultimate. I mean, I am a little bit fat. Oh, no, this is not good. I think Caden's going to bite the dust here again. No, I want Caden to survive, man. Ugh! I definitely should have trained a little. No, we're actually fine. We're actually fine. Dang it. He got back up again. So this is going to do next to nothing because he's guarding. Darn it. Okay, we need to target his head again. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is when <laughs> I mess up and hit the wrong thing. Okay, I'm going to try and revive Jibanyan. I know I'm wasting a lot of these healing items, but I honestly want everybody to participate in this fight because we need everybody, man. And all right. He did not in spirit Baku. I'm totally fine with that. Dimmy and Tattletail, like the combination of those two should be enough to take everybody down. Let's change the target again. I think we can end it right here. If Tattletail will do anything. God dang it. All right, let's purify Caden. Gotta wake up, dude. We need you. All right. But Baku is actually just tearing, like, he's just owning face here, honestly. But at the end of the day, it's Jabanyan who's gonna get the finishing blow. Come on! Yes. Okay, good. Good. We have the charm unity, and Jabanyan got the finishing blow. As it should be. We beat this giant pig. I don't know what he's supposed to be in Japanese mythology, but he is defeated, and we're not. That was by no means how you're supposed to do that fight. I definitely should have had a better strategy and paid attention to my, uh, you know, yokai's HP and whatnot. But holy crud, we got a ton for beating that. We got a new badge to equip. Everybody got levels, and we got a butt ton of cash. I consider that a victory. Oh, man. Would have liked if Caden got to be used a little more, though. And why? I spoink went in with a long boil in the hot bath. Well, you shouldn't have took that old man's undies.
gosh, that's nasty. I still can't get over that. And are those backup dancers with him? <laughs> yeah, who are those people in the background? Good question. And we'll donate. You retrieved the underwear successfully. Yeah, well, let's keep that between you and me if that's possible. <laughs> Good deeds are best done quickly. As someone said once somewhere, I don't really know who. Don't ask me. Own two timers and more. All right, sounds good. Another request completed. And hopefully now we can get this yokai watch upgraded. We're looking at it. You found my lucky underwear. I was giving up hope. Thank you very much. Now I feel my muse coming back like a freight train. Well, let me take those beauties off your hand. Yeah, yeah, take them, dude. Gosh, I wish I had a bag or something to keep them. <laughs> Just imagine him holding it. It's like, think about it, it's so gross. Not only is this old man wearing them, but then that giant fat pig, and they're probably stretched out by now, Mr. Goodsight. Just thought I'd warn you. And alrighty, now just sit a spell while I fancy up your new yokai watch. Alright, sounds nice. So now we'll be ranked D, so maybe we can go to some new places and catch some new yokai. And should we tell him that Sproink was wearing his underwear? Shh! Don't break his concentration. And what was that? Uh, nothing. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, literally nothing. Don't sweat it, dude. A little awkward. Yeah. And there we have it. Uh, thanks. Hopefully it does good and whatever purpose it serves. And you should be able to see tougher yokai now. No problem. He was a wise little kiddo. Uh, thanks, man. I'll try my hardest not to break it in the next five minutes. And at long last, our yokai watch has been upgraded to rank D, and this will allow us to find yokai that are the same rank in the overworld and also unlock these unsealed watch lock doors, which I'm sure will contain brand new yokai for us to find, and sweet! Can't wait to see it in action. Me too, man. I'm honestly a bit curious what we're gonna find in those new areas and which yokai were just right under our noses, but we weren't strong enough to see them, and uh, Baku yokai ma oh, apparently not. Too much food! Baku, eat no more. Uh, is that so? And, uh, Baku dreaming? Great. Baku, eat more. Alright, this guy cannot make up his mind, apparently. Anyways, see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play. Yokai Watch.